Okay, so this video is for Wackage, excuse me, Wackage. The official wacky, wacky Packages minis. Now, I remember fondly Wacky Packages trading stickers in the 70s, 80s. They were fun. I had good memories. I was so looking forward to the Wacky Packages miniatures coming out, the minis. We all were, let's face it. But from the very first opening, we were not impressed. So many duplicates. In fact, I'm not going to go through everything. I have a video. I'll link it in the video description. Okay. But what they did yesterday was beyond insane by sending this to me in the mail. I first contacted them after I made that video. I finally got a message back that someone was going to be contacting me from what they said was their team. It was their PR person, and with PR representation like they have, um, it's a good way to go out of business. Their super impulse, super impulse, you should check on the PR company. I got an email immediately from the woman. What she first told me is enough to file a class action lawsuit because it's deceptive. Here's, here's what happened. She said something along the lines, and we read it last night in the live, that because Target and these things are new, maybe all 66 have not been sent out yet, but then you're saying collect all 66 and you know that there's no chance of that happening. And like I said, I bought 21 packs and just got nothing but duplicates. People on the panel bought them. And um, so the PR company contacts me. Not only do I tell her we got nothing but duplicates, but we also got products without labels, uh, missing products, missing things in the packages. Oh, it was, oh, we're going to do something. We're going to send something out, blah, 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 blah. Nothing comes. I contact the company back and I say, you know, what's going on? They said, well, let's check. They said, they'll send you a tracking number. No tracking number ever came, but this came in the mail yesterday. This, this. Do you want to see what's inside of this? If you were in the live, you saw the first thing, which a lot of people said, is just, what the freak did you send me a spoon for? In these times of the ickies, this is disgusting. You know that I'm a germaphobe, right? So what is this for? To mock me? To mock the people on our panel that are germaphobes? Disgusting. Thanks for that. No thanks. Okay. Then they literally sent me one package. If they had even watched the video and they knew their product... What we said was that their products don't differ. If you buy a product that has, say, the peanut butter on top, every single one of your products is going to be the same as every package that has a peanut butter on top. That's really um, not only a really bad design, okay? That's terrible design, guys. But if you had watched the video, you would have seen that I had the A-Jerks. So if you're trying to show me that you're going to give me something different, you gave me a package that was just more duplicates. So another package of Wikis, another Fruitopia. Another Chef Boyardee. Another A-Jerks. And... Another package of rats. Wonderful. Love it, right? Yeah. Then you could not even address any of my concerns in a letter. I got this. This is what I got in there. Introducing, telling me how good these things are when I already have a complaint. Trying to show me where I can get more. And boy, really? Really? Okay. And floating around, which I can only imagine, uh, knowing this PR department, they probably scoured their offices and found these on someone's desk. These were just loose in the back. The big league chew, the gallon of milk, and then this crust toothpaste, which, let me see if this will focus, focus, focus here. The label, you see it, is already coming off. It's bubbled up. This was probably, oh, where's where's that account that we had, the, the wacky packages? We have anything left? 
Oh, let me go on my desk drawer. I've got these three things. You didn't even send me the full set of the of the rares. So I know that's 100% what it was. You went in the boardroom or you went in someone's desk or maybe your kids had this. And uh, Christy, you think this is good. Well, Christy, I don't even know if you sent this. All I know is you sent me the email from the PR company and you sent this generic package my way with a freaking spoon. So apparently you're mocking us all here. Um, and just so you know, because it's not only wacky packages, and let me just show you. This is from Super Impulse. There's their logo right up there. They also make the world's smallest, which we open all the time on the show. Thousands of dollars. Um, you literally have thousands of customers that hear about this stuff on this channel and become your customers and this is how you treat them. And I am going to come out again and say, do not buy the wacky packages because we are not seeing a good percentage. We're not seeing any of these. We have not seen the planters and all the ones we've opened. I have 21 alone, okay? We've had other people on the panel. I have a letter saying that, oh, they're not all out or something. Well, that's deceptive. How can you say collect 66 to collect if 66 are not out there? Okay, that 100%, there's been class action lawsuits filed in one for way less than that. Okay, um, I just saw one filed the other day. Did you know it was uh, something about an Aldi product? It might not have as much vanilla in the creamer as they said. Class action lawsuit. Okay. Anyway, all they had to do was just make this right for the consumers, but they couldn't do it. Now, yes, this is the other product. We do buy many of these. Gosh, again, thousands of dollars between us all. And these are much better, but you still have some crap in them. Okay, but what are you going to do? You can't. You know, they want to put crap in at least they have out there what they say you can get and you can buy them separately or you can buy them together. This, I would still recommend the world's smallest toys by this company. Okay. I would not, do not, and I'm going to come out and say it, unless they change something, unless they put these other products out there, these uh, Super Impulse, the wacky packages, no, you're going to get a bunch of duplicates. That's what you're going to get. And these are not even rare that we're not seeing. Like, um, I haven't seen any Lavoris pulled. I haven't seen any Log Cabin pulled. I haven't seen the Del Monte Tomatoes pulled. I haven't seen the Exeteran pulled. I haven't seen the Quaker Oats pulled. I haven't seen the Raisins. Not the Minute Maid. Um, this coffee may have been pulled the other night by one person. Um, Captain Crud, I have not seen only stickers, but I've seen, you know, oh my gosh, so many. The Jello, have not seen that. Hershey syrup, have not seen that. Starburst, have not seen that. Baby powder, have not seen that. Goldfish, nope. Uh, Nesquik, uh uh. Starkist, um, nope. Macaroni and cheese, no. Uh, Dr. Pepper, no. Coca Cola, no. Um, this, uh, for men stuff, no. Um, this a Jinx, no. This is the speed stick that I got with no label. They didn't even replace that. And I think these are the ballpark Franks. I have not seen those or the Chips Ahoy. So, or I, and I have, um, not seen the animal crackers, I don't believe, unless Moo pulled a pack of those the other night, but... Um, no. And Vile, I think she had a sticker and not the product. But, yeah, there's just too many that are not there. There's too many duplicates. And beyond that, the duplicates, the way it's put in the package, there's no variety. Oh, and then there's the Captain Crud sticker. Okay, so very upset with that. I'm going to say, as a mother, as a consumer, don't buy the wacky packages, even for the adult collectors. You're not going to get it. 
What the freak did you put a spoon in there? Why wouldn't you answer the emails? I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys think? I wouldn't answer it. I wouldn't do it. Um, just not, not finding the variety. And uh, better yet, I believe I will be just taking, since I'm not getting any customer service and they really don't care, and these are about $6 a box plus tax where I bought them and a little more on Amazon where I bought them. And I have at least 22 boxes. Um, you do the math on that, okay? I'm going to just bring them all into Target and put them on the counter because you will not address any of this. So thanks, but no thanks. Uh, mocking us is ridiculous. If it took, you know... And, I, and I'm going to, I think, just send this back to you, and I'm going to include a fork and a knife for you so you can cut through the BS that you sent us. Okay. And then we'll move on, Alma said. And then we'll move on to the next uh, series of collectibles. But the wacky packages, extremely disappointing disappointing kids and adults and collectors everywhere. So it's stupid. So you see this and um, we'll use our influence to let people know you have horrible customer service. And that's how you take care of your customers. You don't even send even a little uh, letter, an email, even to, with a tracking number, like you said, you were gonna send. So if you can, share this out. Tag them on social media. They're on Instagram. They're on Facebook. I believe they're on Twitter as well. Um, and they're probably on YouTube by now. Give me their contact details, Alma. You'll shoot it out. Okay, I will, Alma. All right, but that's that's it for that. Um, you hear that? That, I think, is a chipmunk. Isn't that funny? He's pissed, too. He's really pissed, too. So there you have it. Um, oh, I put the lanterns inside. I, I did put a picture on Instagram. But it's really nice, and it's not even, like, dark inside. So this is just crappy. Hold on. I'm going to take you out of here so I can really see what you're saying. I'm done with this. Isn't this stupid, wacky package, people? Someone's going to want to chip Actually, I rescued a little chipmunk once, and I have pictures of him. He was stuck in a rain gutter, and the dogs were getting at him. He almost died, and we had to give him, um, like, hummingbird uh, nectar to get him out of shock. He was drenched. We had him in our sink in the laundry room. I have to think that since these are geared, they are misleading innocent kids. Exactly, Carol. And um, there were already complaints... It, and, I, and I wrote this strongly worded letter to many brands as well, did I? So we'll see what happens. Send them a branch, a glove, and a knife. <laughs> what is that? Is there a meaning behind that? Is that an olive branch, or what am I sending? I, I will, Kathy, because this is horrible um, customer service. And these are not... You know, it well, absolutely it's not the company that manufactured the trading cards. That was Topps in the 70s, the 80s, and they were good, and there was a variety, and they were fun to collect, and we were all so excited about it, but it stinks. It absolutely stinks. So we'll do that, and uh, that's about it. I don't know. Today is like a really dreary, horrible day. I'm not feeling it today. I could have stayed like, probably could have stayed in bed all day. A taste of their own medicine. Um, you hear that? that that's, a, uh, that's a chipmunk. Because I saw him the other day making that noise. Leave the horrible day to you. Why are you having a horrible day too? Spoon, the spoon doesn't make sense streaming. 
the rain was intense in West Virginia. See, and then we're probably going to get that too. And we had intense rain, high, high 61. Enjoy it. At least I will, Alma. I'll try. It's just, ugh, I hate this weather and I just, I don't know. Certain waves are rolling in. Just not feeling, not feeling, um, I don't know. Dep I, I, I do feel like depressed and stuff today. So it's, I've been the last few days kind of. And then I just look at, you've been in bed. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know you, you have your, is that your niece or your cousin? That poor kid. Terrible. Prayers for her, Alma. That's so terrible. Shopping always helps. But, um, Lisa's, Lisa still has a little fever, which she's trying to kick. But she says some things are getting easier, and the sun's going down. It looks nicer on camera than it is here. Tomorrow's a new day. You're right, Alma. Tomorrow's a new day. Weather definitely makes it depressing. Yeah. I did I did get some things done, like I um you know, took care of like some nitpicky things in the powder room and stuff. Um wash some stuff but there's there's still so many things oh my gosh i'm like out of my mind jimmy keeps saying oh little by little but see i feel like we don't have little by little anymore it's like we need like a team oompa loompas over the house uh thanks alma that's sweet thank you i am blessed with that yes um but you still could all come over and help. <laughs> that would be really good. It's storming all there. It's done nothing but storm. That's what we had yesterday. It was horrible. And now it's cool. Hi, Julie. Now it's just cool. Someone gets the, yes, I know that high 61. That's why we're not going to send our kids to school. They're going to go on um, five day, uh, well, I mean, they're going to go the entire time home instruction and because I know that's what's going to happen and I know it'll happen within the first two weeks, you know, hundred percent. Most days are good and some days, yeah, dreaming. Sorry to hear that. It's, yep, it's the way it goes. Comes in waves. You never know when it comes in. You're going to West Virginia tomorrow for your niece's bridal shower. Oh, that's fun. That should be a good time. See me. How far are you from West Virginia? Chicago's 92. See, but I really wouldn't mind. I know it says I wouldn't mind. Now I'm already feeling cold. I'm already feeling cold. Hi, Robin Lane. I haven't seen you in a long, long time. Just under two hours. Where are you going from? There's that chipmunk again. Did you know that's a chipmunk, Luke? That, that noise, did you just hear that? That's a chipmunk. I saw him doing it the other day. I just know it's very cool about her. Oh, Canton, Ohio. Oh, she worries about me a lot. Thanks, Robin. It's Barbara, it's not even a matter of being spreaders. It's a matter of the anxiety it's going to cause when little Johnny goes home with a sore throat and little... Um, Stephanie goes home with um, a headache and the or teacher cold, goes home. Yeah, they, then they're going to send the notices you out. Need, the thing is, you don't, they, they say you don't even need to oh, wear yeah, a mask. Oh, yeah, and they the don't even want them wearing, wearing their masks or the I'm teachers wearing masks in a closed classroom. And you don't know where the teacher's been. You don't know where those kids have been. So, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to go through that anxiety. There's enough anxiety when they send home the notices on head lice. And my friend... 
Uh, my friend's dad is a high, the, one of the high school teachers, and he thinks it's crazy. Yeah, he thinks it's crazy, he... too. He said, uh, you know, don't send them. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the kids are not going. That They're going to provide the e-learning, so we're going to do it for the first semester. Yeah, for the normal flu season, I just, th I just see it being nothing but chaos, anxiety, and I have enough anxiety. So, enough anxiety that, that I definitely don't need a letter coming home that, you know, so-and-so got this. Well, then it's more reason than I shouldn't send them, Barbara, if that's going to happen, because I am fearful of that. I just, I, I the, the uncertainty would drive me crazy. Anyway, I, I'll, I'll see it out. If it goes okay, they'll go back the next semester. But we'll, I'm going to give it uh, a test run I'm, without adding the, my guinea pigs in. I'll keep my guinea pigs home. I just had 572, Peggy. Wow. Hi, Davida. How are you? You making any fake food today, Davida? I showed Scooter that stuff in Walmart. She was like, really? I thought she was gonna do it, but then I remembered it was the Scooter we were dealing with. Hi, Alma's parent. Oh, here comes somebody, who's that, Daddy? Or is it Ethan, who is that? Who is that? I'm live, who is that? Did you go to the store already? Yeah, I got two things in. Cheese. I told you I had pizza sauce. It was in oh. the pantry. Okay. Well, I got two more. Oh, now good. We have two more. more. Good. A little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna go Coco. Hi, Coco. If, uh, if it rains, I'll just run back home. Go back home. there. Go back there. Go back there. Oh, gosh. We used to do that. There's a big dog coming. I forgot all about that. The what? No, my sister and I used to play a game. And she would scream something like, there's a big dog coming. And I would run and then just do that, like, catch like that. That we did all the time. I just My forgot to. My friend told... caught me like that. We won a basketball game, so I yeah. just ran and jumped. And I forgot I forgot all about that until Jake I... doesn't know if he's going to school. Uh, Jake's dad doesn't know if he's going to. Right. Let him make a last minute decision. Yeah, they can teach the math, though. That's mm -hmm. not good. Like, teachers can teach the math, though. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, How? Why? You going to Target? <laughs> Balls. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good, Alma. I think on that stuff. Okay. So. I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to have some of the world's smallest uh, Care Bears, but I don't want you to get bloody fingers. That's cute. That Scooter got a slinky dog. See, those things I like, and I think there is a lot of variety in them. Where at least you can get the Care Bears. Like I thought you were just going to be able to get the Grumpy Bear. I mean, I I do like them. I think it's nice. You should come on panel one night, Alma, just bite the bullet. I'll wear a mask. They're 80%. Hi, hi Scout Inquirer. How are you doing? Uh, oh, did I tell you guys? I told you guys. My colonoscopy is the 29th. Weather Channel is saying New York is going, yes, it's going to be, the, I already saw that, Davida, I know, we're going to be getting rain and stuff like that. So, I don't know. It's so weird how the colors... Look at that scenery. Yeah, Julie. Um, I did hear from, did I tell you guys I heard from Judy that I was worried about in, who lost her husband recently, and uh, she's in New Zealand. She's, I heard her in the, I have heard from her in the comments. Um, she uh, moved and stuff, and, but she's okay, she's around, and then I want to see CC, um, from, I think they're also from New Zealand. I haven't seen them in a while. Hope they're okay. And 
Again, Julie T. I don't know where the heck. I hope she's okay. I know her brother was real sick. And, uh, how many people? Hmm. I think Jimmy's going to make pizza on the grill, which... So, that's what is everybody else having for dinner? What are you guys having for dinner? Hi, Peace Niddle. Casbat, that's not true. Everyone cares. Show Casbat some love. Um, oh, we have uh, J Bell's had her surgery, and uh, it was it went uh, very very well. So prayers for that to continue and her to recover. Hi, Evie. How are you? Pizza on the grill. Yeah, I do have to cook tonight. Avi is at the fire department function. I see. Um, and like I said, uh, yeah, she had to have some surgery. She's okay. She's okay. Um, it was scary. Yeah, it was a scary place to have. But she, um, she texted me right away, and I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> I didn't think it was time. I'm like, "Okay." So, she's a little groggy right now, so I'm resting up. Hopefully be home soon. You want a bananas, but don't know how to make them. Catfish. Catfish is somebody. Catfish is, who is Catfish? Isn't that Gigi? Somebody was in here with another name and they couldn't, maybe it wasn't Gigi. Maybe it was, who was Catfish the other night? Does anybody remember that? It's somebody that you wouldn't expect, like a snow remover or somebody. Hi, Kathy from Texas. Haven't gotten the text yet. I want a steak big enough to dangle my legs over the side. <laughs> um, yeah, who was that, Alma? Gigi, okay, yeah. Oh, and she's Rose Quartz too, see me? You're good. Gigi, I'm worried about you with all those name changes. I hate the name changes. Oh my gosh, it drives me crazy. I think you mean J Bell streaming. You hear how the voices carry on the water. Hey Jill B, how are you doing? What happened to Code of Many Colors? Is she okay? I never see her anymore. Bella Moon. Hello, Bella Moon. Sad soul, you're going to bed, sweet dreams. I'm starting to get hungry now. Now I am, because you guys are all talking about food. A baked potato, I can sit in. That sounds nice right now, if it's warm, because um, 
I feel cool now. I feel actually too cold now. I need like a big hoodie now, and that shouldn't be. I'm sorry. It should not be. Yesterday they had to, um, the people at Woodbury Commons, there was going to, that's the outlaw mall that we want to have a meet up at. They had to get the people out of there because of the storms that were going through. Hi, Perido Eyes. You're having cod with special squash. Row seven and roasted potato sounds nice. It is, Bella. David, are you coming to that? You could pick up Scooter on the way. But you're not, you're not too far, right? You're just in, aren't you in Rockland County, Scout? You coming to the meetup at Woodbury? See, Alma, you've got all those restaurants right there by you. Can't you even get like a Grubhub where they'll bring it right to you? Good night, Sad Saul. Hi, Carol Plant. Oh my goodness. It's a Friday night, so quiet. Oh, they'll dip into your food? Yeah, you're in Rockland. I would love to. When is it? Would um, We're thinking, well, I, I'd like to have like a little um, treat after my colonoscopy, not, not immediately after, <laughs> but I mean, um, I'm supposed to go for a colonoscopy on the 29th, so I think that, I don't know what day that is, we have to get a group together um, and see, but I think maybe that in the, in the few days after that, because I don't want to go too late in October because it might not be nice. But I know that it's usually nice, at least until the mid middle of October. And we'll have to look at the calendar, like the extended forecast, and try to pick a day that'll be good. But I know Lisa, um, both Lisas, H and D, would like to come. And um, Devi not Davida, wish Davida, uh, Patricia, maybe. Um, Karen McCann, I mean, she, she's in maybe Kristen, depending on the distance for her. Yeah, honey, hush, I'm going to get my flu shot. I get, I get my flu shot, and I will definitely have my flu shot before that outing and before my colonoscopy. You'd be there in a hot beat if you lived close to you could still scoot yourself a little bit, Davida. You could have like a caravan on the way. Radio Demon, I think you're in the wrong chat, dear. I can't even think there, there were many more people. There was um, Scout and Quiver that lived close, the mom, the bomb. Um, Oh, there's the other mom, mommy for the, for the wind. Uh, let's see who else. Mommy for the wind. Oh, Danielle C. I keep having a mind block on that. Danielle C. Um, there's also someone else. DoorDash now. Hi, Mary Warren. How you doing? I'm trying to think. Hey, Trudy. She's feeling better, Scout. She still has a low-grade fever that's not breaking. She'd really like to have that. Um, oops, who was that bird that went by? She'd really like that to go away. And then she'd feel a lot better. It's a Tuesday that, that I, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've never had one, so I don't know. But I mean, by Thursday, I'm sure. Anytime from Thursday on, I'd be fine. I hope so if I live. If I don't, then you guys can go alone. Um, New Hampshire.
I'm sure, Trudy. Now you're in, where, where are you now? Honey, no, I think they think it's something with the inflammation or something with the surgery. Uh, so hopefully it should go away. Okay, Lisa, she'll probably let, yeah, I'll let her know. Love and healing prayers coming your way. She's been on panel the last couple of nights, which has been nice. I think she's missed it. It's good to have her on. No, not this Tuesday. Davida, the 29th. Louisiana, oh, Cajun country. And I wonder about Foxy Bot because she was riding out the storm. I hope she's okay. I wonder why Gigi's husband's name is Catfish. Hi, Carol. Thank you. The squash was developed by this chef who didn't like the ingredients he was getting, so he made his own vegetable varieties. His name is Dan Barber. Oh, it's on a Tuesday. Yes. I guess you told me that, or somebody just told me. I thought it was you. Your five-year-old granddaughter, Avery, is watching the chat. She is amazed. Everybody from all over the world is talking all at once. And she wanted me to show her a picture of Carolyn. She said she is beautiful. Aw, thanks, Pixie. Tell her hello from us. We'll try and call Foxy, okay? Your phone goes back to the store tomorrow. There were gators in the street and... Oh, gosh. Yikes, Carol. That doesn't sound pleasant, does it? Gators in the street. Avery is your granddaughter's name, too? That's crazy. Gators in the street. How big? Big ones? Or that? That's, that's nuts. Hi, Eli. Remember the baby who would fall asleep every night when you were reading? Yeah, Kathy, I'm not sure that baby even existed. Um, Hubby likes fishing. Oh, okay. Catfish. It could also mean something else, Gigi, which is not good. Hi, Kevin Leonard. How are you? They told her it wasn't considered a fever and it was told you the same thing. Yeah, they do that sometimes. Oh, it's not really a fever or that, you know, with this thermometer doesn't really mean anything. Big gators and big rats. Medium size. She was worried about a neighbor. Oh, gosh, Carol. Yikes. Have not heard from Heather. I haven't checked in Slack, though, David. I haven't, oops. I haven't been in Slack. It sounds like to me her, maybe her uh, dating life is picked up or something, or maybe, you know, new relationship, I don't know. Hopefully something good. I think so too. Maybe she'll come back with a tale of the Elvis Chapel or something, you know? Oh, thanks, High 61. It's from the Bronx. His niece moved from Brooklyn to Colorado and a brother upstate New York now. Really? You have to send me an email, Scout Inquirer, and tell me what groups you want to be in. I'd be kind of curious to see the big rats. Really, P? <laughs> I'm okay. I could just hear about them in a letter. I really don't need to see them. That'd be good. I don't, don't need to see them. Feeling a little bad? What? I, you said she wasn't feeling good. I don't know. I didn't hear that. Is she saying that I'm in Slack? I haven't been in Slack. I don't know. Alma. my dreaming seems to know, so I don't know if it's in Slack or what. Do you have an all-time favorite movie, Carolyn? 
Uh, it depends on what what kind of movie. I used to like scary movies, um, but I don't really watch them much as an adult. I, I'd like a uh, psychological thriller is good, but it's, I mean, hard. I mean, I like The Godfather 1 and 2. I like uh, um, Terms of Endearment. Let's see. The Vanishing is a good psychological thriller. Jaws is good, yeah. Um, Shining is another good one, yeah. I like a walk in the clouds with Keanu Reeves if you're looking for a sappy love story. Um, who is Alma Keanu? I just like the story. It's not so much about him being an actor. Uh, what Lies Beneath? Yeah, I, I've never seen that. Uh, <laughs> horrible. Lake House? I think I did see that. I don't... Uh, what else? Mommy Dearest is always a classic for us. Um, what else? Um, I'm trying to think. I said the vanishing right already. Oh. Once upon a time. Apparently, I love the same movies as everyone else. I'm trying to think. Miles Between Us is good. Oh, Bates Motel. Yeah, I love that series. Uh huh. I love that series. I sound like a big fish jumped. Rosoli? I've never heard that. Alice, Sweet Alice. Oh, really? They're on YouTube? I really want to get a member's movie night, and yet everything I'm picking, there's got to be some kind of place where we can watch a movie and it not be, I've tried to do it in the Facebook group. I've tried to, uh, it's driving me insane. I have to figure out a way to do it. You can do it on Discord. I hate Discord, though. It's such a connotation with, uh, with nothing but drama channels. And now you think you can? I'll check it out. I mean, if you can, I'll try to, try to do it. But all the drama people, they're all turning on each other. It's always every Discord this, Discord that, Discord screenshots. I hate Discord. I'm with you, Trudy. No. 
Insidious. Oh, you know which one other one was good? Um, Crash was a good movie. Oh, you can? Okay. You just discovered it's horrible, Pepper? Uh, yeah, I guess it is about the people you have in it. If you have the drama stirs and on it, it's going to be horrible. You know what I just thought of? Oh my gosh, in Slack, I can post a link to a YouTube video. Why didn't I think of that? But then the problem was, let me check that out. If we're watching it on, and we've got a members only group in there, if we're, and a Patreon one, if we're watching it on Slack, can we chat along with it? How easy is that to get a group? Why didn't we think of that? I think we can do it. I can probably put the bad seed and everything in there. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm fairly certain I can do that. I have them on my other computer at home on the hard drive. I think I can upload them to Slack. The thing is... Gosh, wait, it might be something with the... Um, the size, but maybe a li I don't know. I have to figure it out. I'll figure it out somehow. I don't know what the heck is wrong. Why can't I figure it out some way? It's so stupid. Yeah, the bad seed. I have it. If you like thrillers, what lies beneath Michelle Pfeiffer? All right. All right. Yeah, Patty McCormick. Yeah, Phyllis. Bad seed. Mommy, I've got a question. Yes, Phyllis, what's the question? Important, of course, of course. Yeah, go ahead, ask, go ahead. Ask away. Pixie Dust, you send me an email and you tell me what groups you want to join. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. Is that chat from the other night still available for the entire world to see? Uh, yeah. I don't delete my stuff. Why? I don't think you said anything um, incriminating at all or or uh, doxing. Why? Fatal Attraction, yes, that's a good one. Try to get my husband to watch it every now and then. Just saying. Why? No, you didn't say way too much, Phyllis. You didn't say anything. No, absolutely not. We haven't even had one comment that you said too much. You know what happens, Phyllis? Those lives are so long. A lot of people don't even bat an eyelash. Because a, a lot of stuff, it's not like it's like a three-minute video. and uh, It's not going to matter, Phyllis. You should see what people say on here. That's nothing. Go to the drama channels and wait till you see what they say over there. Believe me. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. No, no, there's been a lot of hippie talk. You should see the stuff Moo was doing. And Scooter, don't you worry about it. Yeah, about themselves. Don't, yeah, and others and, 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 and communes and all kinds of stuff. Phyllis, you're giving it too much thought and there's nobody that, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, don't, don't give it another thought. YouTube's a battle. They're, they're talking about stuff they're doing now. 
What is Slack, Ginger? It's just um, a place where we have um, groups and stuff where people can, there's a craft group and there's a mini brands group and there's, um, we're talking good movies. Yeah, we are. What's your good movie, Phyllis? What's your, what's your favorite movie, Phyllis? Hey there, who's that? I didn't see who that was. Hold on a second, I don't want to push the buttons. Uh, hi Rhonda, I haven't seen you in a while, girl. Where have you been? Gosh, it's been forever. Fargo, yeah, Fargo is a good movie. That's, that's right, Fargo is a good movie. What are we being careful, oops. Why are we being careful, Danielle? Carolyn, what groups are there in Slack? I only have grief, craft, in general. Um, there's a prayer group. There is, let me think about here, crafts, gardening, bargains, recipes, weight loss. Um, there's the members only. There's a Patreon only. Oh, gosh. Stuff like that. Hi, Rosie Posey. Ah, oh, with a house? Sorry to hear that, Rhonda. Memento? I've never even heard that. Memento. Check it out. Hi, Gigi is under catfish. Yep. Yeah, me too, Danielle. Me too. Forrest Gump is a good one. Yep, that's a good one. Yep. The book, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, is one of my favorites. I've never saw the movie because I know it would never live up. On Golden Pond, yeah. Tree. Memento is a Johnny Depp. Really good. Oh, really? I'll have to check it out. The book, yeah. Tree Grows in Brooklyn was one of my, it's probably my all-time favorite book. Unlike the other day, yeah, Rosie. It's not, Memento is not Johnny Depp. I know why the cage, oh, Shawshank Shaw, 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 Redemption is a good one. Escape of Danamora is another good one. Um, mini series kind of thing. What else? Green Mile, all the Coen Brother films. Dark, but really good. Three billboards in a blank town. Oh, is that the one with the mother that's, uh, her daughter was killed or missing or something? Mystic River, yes, I've seen that. You love dark? Killed the daughter, right. Okay, Phyllis, yeah. The, oh, um, what about Eye for an Eye with Sally Field and Kiefer Sutherland? I think you would like what I did with my empty tomato can, Carolyn. I probably would, Davida. Though the ladies in that knit night wouldn't. Um, the Green Mile. What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Little Children with uh, Kate Winslet was a good movie. Okay, Pixie. See you later. Yeah, I'm going to sign off pretty much too. I've got to go help with the pizza and stuff. What did Davida do? She made, oh, with her tomato can? I'm sure she made a video on it. Did you make a video on it, Davida? Check out Davida Lane. Check out her channel. Brazil. Yeah. Alrighty, Kites. I'll see you guys later. Take care. God bless. Prayers for all. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay happy. Stay nice.
Bye-bye.